Hi everyone, in this video, we will be looking at an important module in Zoho inventory, items. Items are the goods or services that you buy for your vendors or sell to your customers. Let's get started and see how to create items in Zoho inventory. There are two ways in which you can add items in Zoho inventory. You can manually create them. You can import them in bulk. First, let's see how to create items manually. Log into Zoho inventory. Go to the items module on the left sidebar. Click the plus icon next to items. Click items and then click the plus new button on the top right corner of the page. Select the type as goods or service. You can enter the items SKU or product code here. Click here to enter the unit of the item. You can mark the box returnable item if the item is eligible for sales return. Next, enter the sales information. You can mention the selling price and also add a short description here. The account will be sales by default. However, you can change the account if you wish. Enter the purchase information such as the purchase price and the description. The account will be cost of goods by default. You can also change the account. If you wish to upload an image for the item, you can click the browse image option on the right side. If you wish to track inventory for this item, mark this box. Here, the inventory account will be inventory asset by default. If you have any stock on hand, you can enter it in the opening stock field. You can enter the rate per unit of the opening stock in this field. Please note, you can track inventory for the item only if you enter both sales and purchase information. Warehouse feature allows you to track and manage your inventory across locations. If you've enabled the option in the settings, you can choose the warehouse here. To know more about this, you can refer the link given in the description below. Now click Save. You can also track items based on the advanced inventory tracking features such as the serial number tracking and batch tracking. We'll be seeing this in our next video. Next, let's see how to import items in bulk. Suppose you have the list of items in a file in any of these formats such as XLS, CSV or TSV. You can modify your file according to the format used in Zoho inventory and import it. So let's see how to upload the file. Click the hamburger icon and select import items. You can refer to our sample file for the format of import. Click the choose file button and select the file from your system. If you've already created items A, B and C in Zoho inventory and your import file also has these three items, then there'll be duplicates. You can choose whether to skip them or override the existing record with the new ones. Click Next. In this step, you have to map the fields in your import file to the corresponding fields in Zoho inventory. If you've chosen the override option earlier, you will have to choose the field based on which you want to override the item details. If you want to save these selections for future imports, then mark this box and click Next. If you click Preview, you can check the errors, if any, and then click Import. You can also import your items from CRM and marketplaces. We'll be covering these integrations in detail in our upcoming videos. However, we have added the link to the help doc in the description below and you can refer that for more details on the same. All the items that you create will be listed here. If you click the item, you can see the overview of this item. Here, you can see the transactions in which this item is associated. If you have added any related list, you can view it here. If you've made any adjustments to this item, it will be displayed here. There might be cases when some of the items are damaged or stolen, or the value has decreased due to depreciation, etc. In such situations, you'll have to make adjustments to your stock. Click Adjust Stock. Now choose whether it's a quantity adjustment or a value adjustment. In this video, we'll select Quantity Adjustment. Here, enter the quantity that you wish to adjust, select the reason, and then click Save as Draft or Convert to Adjusted. You can also adjust your stock from the item adjustments option in the left sidebar. If you wish to edit this item, click edit. If you want to delete this item, click delete. In case you do not want to use this item for a while, you can mark it as inactive. 
you can customize the preferences of your items by going to settings, preferences, items. You can set the decimal rate for your item quantity and also set the measurement unit for the item dimensions and item weight. If you want to allow duplicate names for items, you can enable this box. Once you do this, the SKU will be used as a primary field for mapping. In case you want to set custom prices for items, you can enable the price list option. Once this is enabled, you can associate price list for transactions, customers or vendors. If you also bundle your items and sell them as a kit, you can mark this box to enable composite items. Here, you would have set the date on which you created Zoho Inventory account. If you want to create custom fields, you can create from Field Customization tab. You can also create a custom button to perform certain actions based on your requirements. Suppose you wish to give discounts to your regular customers who place an order in prior. You can create a custom button by writing a deluge script and you can execute these actions. If you wish to fetch and view information within this application and also from other applications, you can create a related list. Let's say you wish to see the customer's rating for your product that you sell on Amazon and Zoho Inventory. Then you can write a dilute script for this and execute the action accordingly. With this, we hope you've got a good understanding of how you can add items in Zoho Inventory. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support at the rate zoho-inventory.com. You can subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications about our upcoming videos.